Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. It's Monday, okay? Come on, y'all. Get up out your bed. Bend the knee. Thank the Lord Jesus for another day. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're going to act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. I want to encourage you today as you kick off your week that God is always with you. Oh, brother and sister, just just say that with me. God is always with you. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse five says, keep your life free from the love of money. Be satisfied with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you or abandon you. (sighs) One thing that you can count on with God is that he's never going to leave you alone. It's a promise of the Lord Jesus. And the good news about that promise is that even if you've messed up and made mistakes and made a mess of your life, Jesus says, I don't leave you when you make mistakes. I don't leave you when you turn your back on me. I'll still keep my face towards you. We are comforted with this truth that Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. I don't know what you got to go through this week. Some of you having a bout with your child Uh, Some of you have a sick family member. Some of you have something going on at work. Some of you are out of work. Some of you are fearful about the perplexing realities going on in this crazy culture. But Jesus has said to his church, he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is always with you. I've been working with uh, the local Ronald McDonald house here uh, in our county, Riverside County, and they took a bunch of us out on a tour of the facility. This remarkable building, I think it could house like 100 families. Ronald McDonald House, their whole mission is to help families who have sick kids in the hospital who are very, very sick and they have to be there with their kids, but there's nowhere to stay. So there's Ronald McDonald Houses all over the world where families have a place to stay while their child is being treated. So they're just showing us game rooms and libraries and kitchens and pantries. And and it's it's just amazing ministry. And they took us to the laundry room and they said the laundry room doesn't, it's not just where our families do laundry, but it's also where they send encouragement to their kids. And this lady goes on telling, explaining to us that the, the hospital, which is just next door, is right there. And they were on the second floor where kids who are on the same floor at the hospital can see that room. They said it became apparent that kids, when they're spending the night by themselves in hospitals and they're going through these terrible illnesses that sometimes they need their parents' voice. But the problem is it's the middle of the night and their parent can't come in the hospital at that time. You know, there's, um, they've had a nightmare and they woke up and the nurse is not enough to comfort them. So what they've done is they've developed a way that when a kid is way over there and their parent is way over there, the nurses have learned how to text the parents and the parents come to that room and they blink the light on and off. And a scared child can look over at the distance and see that light blinking, which lets them know that my parents are there. You may be in that kind of moment in your life where you're not You're scared. There's a nightmare going on in your situations. And you need to know that God is somewhere next door blinking the light. Well, I want to encourage you that right now your heavenly father is blinking the lights of his glory, telling you that I'm with you and I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.